Hello, folks. Today, we're we're gonna put cough drops up our buttholes and play video games. Cough drop in your butthole makes me happy. And 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 I'm sure you know who that is by now. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show, the one and only Wackeroni. Uh, for... Hey, everybody. Everybody grab a cough drop and have a good time. <laughs> That's right. Before we get started, though, time for the shout outs. Showtime USA, or excuse me, Showtime Ultra. I don't know where I got the USA from. My brain's not working. <laughs> oh, well. Showtime Ultra came by, and thank you for stopping by. I hope you had a good time. Uh, uh, Deuce, yeah. Deuce Bass stopped by. Thanks, yeah. thanks for checking out the video. Uh, T Belly stopped by. Thanks, thanks for stopping by, T Belly. Cam, Cam UI plays stopped by and said, uh, "Look like we look like we had a blast, a blast processing." We, we did. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, did. And then uh, Caragal Gaming, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, I always have fun with the comments. Just a reminder, you guys, when you when you come by, treat those comments like it's chat. You see someone say say hello. You got a suggestion, a game you want to see me play? Give me that suggestion, man. I I could use the input. Play uh, that uh, leisure suit, Larry. <laughs> Leisure suit, Larry. I don't even know what system that was on. Well, that was um, on PC. It oh. was it was an old PC game. Nice. Yep, yep, yep. And then, as always, in in all my videos, it's it's not it's not a requirement. But if you would like to support the channel, I'm running out of beer money. <laughs> Do it Click for the, the beer money. <laughs> Hashtag fuck soberness. Fuck I gotta, being sober plus. <laughs> I, I, I got I can't I can't do drunk drunken videos if I'm not drunk, man. So That's right. We gotta we gotta take we gotta get cough drops to this man. We need to have spears in one hand and a, and a bunch of cough drops in the other hand. Which which one goes in your mouth? Which one goes in your butt? The, we don't the know. Cough, the cough drop goes in your butt. The beer goes in your mouth. Unless you're butt chugging that. those beers. Then, then, <laughs> but you could interchange. Then, then you would do the beer first and then the like a bunch of cough drops after as a cork. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or, <laughs> or if you were drinking beer out of a glass, out of your butt, you could go glass to mouth. Glass to mouth. <laughs> As always, uh, well, I had I borrowed a bit of money from a buddy to get me some beers, and and I'm drinking cheap tonight. It's still beer though, it's fucking awesome. Cheers, folks! If you got them, drink, drink them. Drink, drink the beer. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, people. <sighs> tonight. We're going to play some Super NES. I got a couple of games lined up that should fill out the video. Yeah. Uh, well, let's go ahead and get started with, with game number one. We're going we're gonna to play some Top Gear 3000. Rock and roll, baby. Top Gear in your butthole. <laughs> <laughs> Cough gear. Cough drop gear 3000. All right. Championship mode. We'll go one player full screen. I know Top Gear, but I, I don't think I've ever played this game. This one is, I think it's the best one of the three on the Super on the Super Nintendo. Nice. Let's just go with... And it doesn't give me the option for a plus sign, so I'll just go with FG plus spelled out. Why not? Oh, I. You're showing me some games that I have not heard of. <laughs> Did you ever play um, 
San Francisco Rush 2049. Yes, that's an awesome game. I can't get it to it play is, correctly oh, in my emulation, though. No. Oh, that sucks. That really Dude, sucks. Dude, I love that game. Like, and, like, what's so funny is, like, it, the only thing that makes it, like, futuristic or whatever, like, 2049, is that your, your car has, like, wings that come out of it, and you can do tricks and shit. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's awesome. And, like... I, I've come close to getting it to work. Either the video glitches out and, and then the audio's fine, or the audio glitches out and the video's fine, but it doesn't always play proper. Make sure I'm. Dude, miles now I'm thinking about hour. it. Like, that stunt track? Did you ever get to do the stunt track thing? Uh, in, in, that, in that game, the Rush 2049? Yeah, there's like a I don't I don't remember if it's well there's like a secret one and then there's like a regular stunt track mode I think where you just like try to do tricks and make points or whatever. Oh no, I don't think I ever got a chance to try that. That game's great. I love it. All right. But it's funny the way nostalgia works is really funny because it's like you sometimes you remember things being like really awesome and then go back and replay them and it's like ah what the fuck is this. <laughs> That's how I felt about Star Wars Shadows of the Empire for the 64. Like, I bought one for my nephews because they like, you know, like collecting like older gaming systems and stuff. And so, <laughs> yeah. I, and then I and then I went and played it with them, and they're like, ew. And I was like, <laughs> give it a chance. And then eventually, I was like, ew. Like the <laughs> gameplay is horrifying. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's been a long time since I've played this game, so there's a way that you get like a perfect start, and I can't do it anymore. But I'll get it eventually. Like that was a like shitty a, start. Of... Like you, if you time hitting the gas just right, I don't remember yeah. if you have to rev it first and then let go and then hit tap it, or if you just have to tap it at the right time. But that's funny. I wonder when that started. A lot of racing games do that. Like Mario Kart did that and everything. Yeah, I think I think Diddy Diddy Kong Racing even did something like that. I think. Well, the reason that they do that is because, like in drag racing, you throw it into gear and you hit your clutch and your brake at a certain point, and then that gives oh. you your optimal start. So they kind really? of like simplified that in the racing game so that you could kind of get that, you know, that really? kind of a I didn't feel for the game. That makes so much sense now. Huh. And this first track is is like I don't even need to like use any of my turbos or anything. I can just like get first on this track every time. Fuck Google, you're so full of knowledge and cough drops. I know, right? Mostly the cough <laughs> drops. <laughs> Mostly the cough drops. Cause your butthole's got a nasty cough. <laughs> you gotta solve it. You gotta you gotta get some mentholated, some uh, <laughs> some halls, some balls, mental mental aptus. <laughs> some <Something>. balls, <laughs> some balls, mental slap slap ass. First place, and this game gives you bonuses for like whatever place you get. Um, see, like uh, nice. ten thousand credits. Secret bonus C seven seventy thousand credits. Bonus D forty thousand credits. It's all different, like, one of those bonuses is if, if you, like, do the entire race without using any turbo boosts, and then another right. one of those bonuses is, I'm not sure, I think it's uh, for not taking damage, and then I, got, I can't, that. I can't remember what the other one is, but I'm sure if you look it up online, they probably have a list of what all of those secret bonuses are by A, B, C, D, I'm sure. Fuck Google. Do you ever dress up for Halloween? Um, I if I if I wore my Halloween costume, I think I'd go to jail. <laughs> what, you're just naked. Yeah, that's right. I was born with my Halloween costume. So. <laughs> and see, this is cool as shit, yeah. man. It's like a sci-fi racing game. You fly yeah, to other that is, planets. That's interesting. Happy this... Spooktober, everyone! <laughs> it gives me a little bit of what, time to drink some you... beer. What are you all gonna be dressed as, you, you little silly kids? You gonna go out there? You gonna knock on some doors and get some candy and stick it up your butt? 
I'm sure everyone's gonna dress up as a sexy something or other, or a slutty something or other, I'm sure. That's usually what happens, right? I am going to dress up as a slutty, ugly man. <laughs> I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna get naked, I'm gonna put on... <laughs> I'm gonna put on my Victoria's Secret collection, and I'm gonna go out on the town. With cough drops! I fucked it up again. I'll get it, folks. I'll get it eventually. Some of these races, when it gets to like the harder part of the game, you have to have a perfect start in order to even have a chance of winning. Nice. It's so flat. Oh, these shit. games were always so like low to the low to the bottom of the screen. Because it's like it doesn't you know, like, they gotta do all the racing that way. Yeah, well, the, like, the, the graphics and shit. Well, the reason they do that, for the most part, is so that you have more space to see things in, in the background. Like, if they didn't have it so low, you wouldn't be able to, like, it would be impossible to see stuff coming up on you. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Did you ever play Road Rash? Yeah, I played Road Rash. I I love Road Rash. That's a pretty damn good game. I can't um, the, God, the I can't remember the name of the company that did the original Road Rash, but they did like all of the Road Rashes on the Sega Genesis. And then there was a yeah, different it, company that did a couple of the ports for like the the Game Gear and the Master System. And yeah, I had the one on Game Gear. One of those was really really good, and the other one was just trash. I can't remember. I wanted to say Konami, but I know that's not right. No, it's, it, it was like some, like, before they did that, I, I'm pretty sure they were pretty unknown. You're right, this is funky music. This game's got some awesome fucking music, man. I like I like the music in this game better than Top Gear 2. I like, I like this game better than Top Gear 2. I keep always missing that, tur that, uh, that second turbo. Not like I'm a, probably ever going to use them until like later on, though. Anyway, so. How about? Sorry, I'm just talking about all different kinds of racing games now that you you got me thinking about them. Like <laughs> Cruising USA. What you know about some Cruising USA? That was my first game that I owned on the Nintendo 64 when I got the Nintendo 64. Was Cruising USA? Really? Yeah. Uh Dude, that reminds me, I forgot to tell you the other night, or maybe I did, but I, or maybe, I think it got lost in conversation, but it was something we were talking about reminded me, like, I was going to tell you about the time I stayed up all night playing Wave Race 64. It was, like, the first time I had ever stayed up all night with a buddy. I just stayed up all night playing Wave Race 64, and it was amazing. Yeah, no, I stayed up all night playing this game with a buddy of mine. I spent the night at, at his house, and, uh, like... I had to go home the next day, and I didn't see him for, like, a week or two, because he was busy, and this was when I was, you know, a kid and still living with my parents and everything, and so I I, I just had, I had to play it, so I, I went, I had, uh, the, where my dad worked, um, that, the, the shop that my dad worked at, the store that, it was a, a furniture rental place, my dad fixed appliances. He, uh, uh, the, the, the owner of the, uh, furniture place shared that, that, air, that store with, with, um, half of it was the furniture store. The other half was a video rental place called Encore Video. And huh. the dude always gave my, my dad, like, discounts and stuff. He had a punch card that, like, he could just rent stuff and he would just get a punch on the card and whenever that card nice. was done, you know, uh, That's cool. he'd just like sell him a new one at a, like a really low price. And I, I always used my dad's punch card. Yeah. I, I, I knew the guy at the, at the encore video. And one day I just, I was like, fuck it. I got to play this fucking game. So I, I, I rented a super Nintendo and I rented this game and I fucking had it for like three or four days. And I just went to town on this game, man. <laughs> nice. <coughs> Jeez. 
Cheers, everyone. Oh, hell yeah. Hey, cheers. wait. What's up? What's going on? Chat comments. Oh, I see you there. What's up, you? Oh, it's good to see you, buddy. How's it <laughs> going? <laughs> How's your funky butthole? And oh, shit, it's that person. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Oh, oh, that's right. This is a password-based game. You get passwords. Oh yeah, that's fucking if you old guys, school. If you guys want to play this on your own, there's a password. Write it down. Or yeah. screenshot it. Dude, I don't what really I fucking know. I had a whole setup. I had the Game Boy Game Boy Advance, and I had a whole like setup. All the gear. It's all like Dragon Ball shit. And like a whole like a carrying case and a magnifying glass thing that you put on it and you know a better handle thing or whatever and like this whole case and i had all my games and i had like a list of like road rash i think it was road rash i had like a, like a shitload like a long list of codes like that just in, just in a, in a little tiny piece of paper just a bunch of those fucking codes there we go that's a little better anyway wasn't perfect but at least i got a good start Go, 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 speed racer. Go. go, speed racer, go. Sorry, I was listening to you. I was just kind of focusing on the start. Sorry about that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. No, nice. I didn't hear a goddamn word you said, <laughs> man. I don't even know why I bring you here. No. <laughs> <laughs> How did I get here? I don't know. I, uh, uh, we kid, folks. We kid. I'm a, I'm a kid lost in a cough drop store. <laughs> oh man, this is fucking just listen to that music, man. No. Not gonna. Not gonna, okay. Don't you tell me what to do. I, li I listen to whatever the fuck I want. That is pretty cool. That's good music. What do they call that type of music? Is this like MIDI or something? Uh, MIDI. Well, yeah, it, the the Super Nintendo used um, samples, and it's basically the same type of thing as MIDI. Huh. Yeah, it I don't pretty know. Pretty much means. is it. Pretty much is MIDI. It's basically where where it's digit digitized samples of actual sounds. It's the secret game of Walter Mitty. So it's basically just sound clips, and they can, like, do all sorts, add effects to them, or change the so pitch. That's what, so is that what Mitty is, or is that a yeah, different thing? Yeah, Mitty is it to digitized MIDI? samples of real sounds. Really? Uh-huh. Uh, this is, See, this is an educational children's program. That's fucking right. That's fucking right. And we're gonna teach you how to properly insert cough drops into your bung bung. First place, again. Step one, unwrap the cough drop. Oh, <laughs> more beer. Cheers, baby. So, like, you don't have to always get first in this game, like, on each race. But every race, you get points based on... Do you see how many points you get based on what place you get? No. You don't have to... Well, look. Look at... Like, I got ten points for getting first, right? Second place is yeah, eight. Yeah. Third is six. You don't gotcha. have to always get first place... But you have to be at least in fourth place in the overall score to progress. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, you're just whooping the shit out of poor old Andrew and Tony and fucking Bernie Mac and Mick Jagger and Ash Ketchum and Mark Gr Gruffalo. I only know, like, a couple of those names. What? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Off to space, you funky space flyer. 
I can't remember what the name what the name of the planet yeah. was, but there was this awesome fucking track, and you can pick up. Oh, oh yeah, and they always give you like like there's a nuclear powered engine that you can upgrade on here. I don't have enough for it yet. I'm I'm saving my money for that, but I had to do an upgrade. I had to at least upgrade my my gearbox so that I could stay in the races. Otherwise, I'd get like just left behind. Um, I think I think the planet you're on is Uranus, but it's spelled U R A N E S. I think it you was know? like Zevis or something like that, actually. No, it was Ura Nintendo Entertainment System. Ah <laughs> yes, failure of a joke. Still not a perfect Pity start me. either. Maybe, maybe, maybe when when you succeeded a joke, I'll succeed at a perfect start. <laughs> all right, all right. Next time you start, I'm gonna like I'm gonna set up a perfect joke. Okay. We'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll see. Oh shit, I'm missing money. All those little yellow balls are money. Yeah, yellow balls in this game are money. I don't know why. If I found yeah. if I found yellow balls on the road, I, I don't think I would be wanting to drive through them. But are you kidding game, me? In this game, you're you're supposed to drive through them. Oh shit! That's the that's the first thing you that's the first thing to do when you find yellow balls. You use them as currency. I'm always telling people, you find a yellow ball, you you go try to buy something with it. Oh uh, no! My first major fuck up. Ah! Uh... You find yellow balls and you go to Encore Games, rentals, and you rent yourself a game using yellow balls as currency. Well, it was Encore Video. Encore video. I know. I, I know. I was I was there. I, I, I was totally paying complete attention. <laughs> don't don't fact check me. <laughs> I'm not fact checking you. I'm I'm, I, I'm just being a douche. <laughs> what? <laughs> Grammar Nazi. God damn it! What? I keep hitting that same bush. Every Dude, time. from the side, when you're spinning, that car look, looks like a different type of car. Oh, I guess it, it's the same type. It's like a futuristic, like, like electric yeah. car. It's like a sleek, lamb, like, space Lamborghini thing. Yeah. Well, like, mixed with a DeLorean and a limousine or something. Get those Don't 21 gigawatts. Hit the damn bush this time, you fucker. Wait, Don't do all it. Right. How many gigawatts does it take? Okay, wait, hold on. I was gonna ask an actual question, but instead I'm gonna use that as the setup for the perfect joke. So I'm gonna wait until you're back there, and I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna well, do it. I'm, I'm about ready to finish this this race, so. And I'm just gonna make it up on the spot. It's gonna be amazing. Oh, don't hit anything. Don't hit anything. Yeah. First place. Was this the type of game you could play with a friend competitively? Yeah, no, you can play this game four players. Oh, nice. Yeah, you can do four players split screen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna <coughs> take a little break here. Uh, see, I'm okay. at, I'm at twenty points now. Nice. Take a little break. Take yourself a little, a little Irish break. I know I mean Irish. I know Irish break. I mean this like y you'd think you know racing games, especially on the Super Nintendo, wouldn't be very immersive. This is fucking immersive if if you ask me, man. You got this little car and it drives under the spaceship and it gets beamed up and then you fly to the next planet to go to another race. Yeah, that's. I wish they would like. It'd be cool if they switched up the the animation for for traveling to a different planet or something maybe well, they like, change or if they it they change, it up, the they change it up they change it up a little bit it like cycles from day to night in some of the cutscenes. Oh. but that is pretty cool or, like I mean, the like... backgrounds will change like it like every like whatever planet you're on the background is different when it, wow. when, it when it goes like when you fly to the next planet yeah so you're on earth is there like a backstory 
Um, Is there more to it? Like so the like the backstory. I was hoping it would play, but I didn't have the patience to, to wait for it to start. The backstory is, is like there's this galactic race and nobody knows who who started it or this, that, the other. It was just the, the story of it was passed down generation to generation and then there's a sign in the cosmos when 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 the race um, begins and, and it says congratulations, you're in the race. The universal galactic race. But like, what is there? Like, are you trying to save a planet? Are you trying no, to save your own? Planet? No, it's just for fame and, and money. I'm pretty sure it's just for fame and money. Okay. Galactic fame and galactic monies, space dollars. All right, I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna do one more race on this game, and then I'm gonna switch over to another game. Let's see, do I have enough money to buy the, the new engine yet? I think it was like six hundred something. Oh, seven hundred eighty-seven. That top quality engine. That's the the new one that just came out the last race. Like later on nice. in this game, you get like awesome stuff. You can make you can make it so that you can jump over cars and you can like attract cars. <laughs> like when your battery's low, you can use this thing to like, if a car is coming by you, you can like kind of magnetize to them and get a little bit of speed. You know, that shit will help you out okay. if you're like really close to the finish line and your your battery's dead. You can't go and you're going really really slow and someone comes by, you at least get second or third. <laughs> but but can you sprout wings and do stunts? Can I sprout wings and do stunts? Um, I can... Uh, there's a, another item that you can use to... Um, like... So there are these little things on the road. Like these little green square diamond things or whatever. If you hit it, it'll, it'll like warp you under the road up to the next point. Wherever that next one is. There's an item later in the game where nice. you can you can um, uh, upgrade your car so that you can do that whenever you want. But Sweet. it's at cost of using your battery. So gotcha. I'm gonna just go ahead and upgrade my engine. I'm See, gonna... but like that's that's 2049 shit I'm talking about. Like these days yeah. you don't need wings to fly. In the 3000s, man. <laughs> we just we yeah, just do no, this no the shit. car just jumps like at, like at will if you have if you have the upgrade all right perfect start per, per, uh fucked it up again uh no that's all right i forgot well no i was gonna do the thing okay i'll do it anyway uh <laughs> what the fuck was it oh shit i missed all that money how many gigawatts how many gigawatts does it take for the delorean to screw in a light bulb Oh, and I miss more money. I don't know. <laughs> Probably as many as that movie said it takes to travel in time. Boom, nailed it. <laughs> yeah, see, <laughs> this race here, this is where the game starts getting, like, super fucking hard, man. You're, like, going, like, way fast. Like, look at how fast I'm going. Oh, shit, I hit a bush. You're going, nope. you're going, like, fucking 200-some miles an hour. In this game I mean I don't, the, uh, I don't know if it's actually that fast like if you if you did like the math on the frame rates and stuff I don't know how fast you'd actually be god I keep missing that money do the uh, different color stripes on the road do different things okay so, okay, so that's a recharge the, one of them's a speed up probably no, the red one. recharges your battery the blue repairs any damage like if you see like uh, below my my uh, RPM gauge on the top is is like um, where, what your damage is. If your damage goes anywhere, okay. if your damage goes into the red anywhere on your car, you're, you you can't go full speed. It slows you down. Gotcha. You see how it's getting greener when I went over that? Yeah. And the little arrows make you go faster. Okay. I knew one of them. And was I'm, a speed up. Like, 
out of battery. I gotta keep missing the money, man. Don't hit the. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, I gotta recharge. Oh, shit. I might have to use a boost here. Oh, why do I keep missing all of those fucking things? Uh... It's alright. You, you got the magic. You got the magic in you. And also a bunch of cough drops up your butthole, baby. <laughs> Kids, don't actually put cough drops up your butthole. It's a fun joke. Uh, or you could, and we take no responsibility. Yeah, that too. <laughs> Either one. <laughs> I'm not telling you to do it. I'm just saying it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Bad influence. Hey. Have you seen a single race I've lost yet? First place on no. every single one of them fucking races, man. Fuck those other racers. There's a couple of times on that first track, where, or not the first track, the second track, where I've like literally like lapped the people in like from like 20th to like 17th place. Lap those motherfuckers. <laughs> those fucking failure, you failure space racers. Alright, so that is Top Gear 3000. That's a game most people know Top Gear and Top Gear 2. That's my favorite of, of the Top Gear games on, on the Super Nintendo. That's the one I always nice. like. And I, I played the others as well. I played Top Gear 1 and 2. Top Gear 2 is pretty good. I just... This is my favorite one of those three games. And then... Did you ever watch Top Gun? I don't really remember watching the Top Gun movies. Top Gun? Yeah. The one with Tom Cruise. Um, I... I... I'm sure. I'm pretty sure I've watched it. I don't really remember a whole lot of it. I know it was a comedy, and I know that like the Top Gun games on NES had pretty much nothing to do with the movie. Was there a sequel to that? Mm. No, there wasn't a sequel. Was there? no, I, I I don't know. I don't. I, I honestly don't know. All right. And yeah, I don't remember that movie at all. On to the next game. I apologize for a bit of oh, a, a bit of shit. glitchy audio. It's it's the the way that the ROM works itself. It's a little bit glitchy in this emulator, but I'm gonna play it anyway, and I'm I'm gonna suck ass. Dude, you suck the cough drops out of somebody's ass. I I'm so happy as soon as I saw saw the new game in the little thing yeah <laughs> I love Ren and Stimpy I gotta get another beer there was like <coughs> there was like one episode that was like banned or something yeah no that one was of the episodes that was on, so fucked up it got like banned that was on Spike TV when they rebooted it for, for Spike TV it was an episode called uh, Naked Beach Party Frenzy or some shit like that and they showed they had like um Rin and Stimpy were were like lifeguards or whatever or wanting to be lifeguards and they're on the beach and there's all this crazy stuff going on and they end up being shower attendants for the women's shower and these two really? chicks go in there and and it literally shows them topless and that's not even the Rin, one I was talking about Rin and Stimpy get to la lathering them up Stimpy comes out with this thing with the spigot where his dick should be, and he's like, "Oh, <laughs> shampoo master! Oh, do, really? it, do it to me, Stimpy! Do it to me!" Oh yeah, what? It got canned. Be the the reboot That's... on Spike TV Television for Men got canned because of that episode. It was fucking. It was a raunchy fucking. Crazy. Episode. That's not even the one I was great. talking about. I think. I think. I think, I think the one I was talking about was actually in the older stuff. 
and it was like some dude adopts them, but he's like a crazy person, oh. and then they like beat him to death. Really yeah, or something. no, yeah, yeah. I, I know what you're talking about, but yeah, Ren and Stimpy got canceled just because like it, it got canceled twice, man. I mean, shit. <laughs> You know, remember when they tried to bring uh, Beavis and Butthead back? That didn't work at all. Because they were edgy. Like, back in the day, Beavis and Butthead were, like, edgy. And, like, I, I, I had to, like, sneak around and watch it around my, you know, like, I couldn't watch it. My, my parents wouldn't allow me to watch fucking Beavis and Butthead. I'd, like, sneak and watch it. But, like, these days, that's nothing. And trying to bring it back, you like, know, it, nobody's going to be shocked. You know what's funny is my parents didn't mind if I watched Beavis and Butthead so much because it was just kind of like potty humor or whatever, you know? Wow. Uh, you know what my parents wouldn't let me watch, though? Uh-huh. They wouldn't let me watch Scooby-Doo because it had ghosts and demons and things in it. That's interesting. Yeah, folks, I apologize for a bit of glitchy audio that's just like something unfortunately that we'll have to put up with a little bit here gritty kitty the hit detection on this game isn't all that great like when you got the mosquitoes flying around you get hit like two or three times by those mosquitoes before you actually hit them oh it's like that's kind of what you can expect from this type of game like these really cartoony games back then a lot of them don't have great hit detection really crappy hit detection especially with those mosquitoes powdered toast man oh, get off of my screen you bastard yeah powdered toast Slog. man i used oh. to have a, i used to have <laughs> one of the comics of the powdered toast man Really? Yeah. I, think I, I had I had one Ren and Stimpy comic also. That's weird. You made me think of that. I didn't even remember. Just one. Just one. That was it. Just the one. That's all. I, I, I begged my parents to get it for me. And they're like, they broke down and they're like, yeah, we, we don't have the money, but okay. It's it's only like four bucks, whatever. Yeah. And I read that, I read that comic like five or six fucking times in one single day. Do you remember the log song? Give me the log song. What rolls downstairs and something in pairs. Um, I don't know all the words anymore. Log, log, log. It's log, log. Everybody wants a log. Everybody loves a log. Yeah. I don't remember all the words, but. But you know, and. I think I remember both. This is funny because I'm not playing two players. They, they have Stimpy waiting here so that I can use him as a weapon for the boss. Oh, bros, there's a lot of it. goes over your neighbor's dog. It's fit, great for a snack. It fits on your back. It's log, log, log. It's log, log. It's big, it's heavy, it's wood. It's log, log. It's better than bad. It's good. Yeah, that's that's how it goes. Sorry, I had to get that out of my head. No, you're good. You're good. <laughs> I, I couldn't remember all the it was, words. It was going to be stuck in there. Here it comes. Here it comes. Yeah. Happy, happy, joy, joy. 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 Happy, happy, joy, joy, joy. <laughs> that show was made by Madman. Yeah. Ah, uh, get off the screen. Oh no. I can't do anything. Well, I can, but I have to use the hammer. But I just want. I was like, look at that. He's so dopey. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Yeah. Get Dude, it's so weird to see like certain certain shows like transcend their like they're they're before their time and they transcend some time and space and shit. Like that was the first time things got really wacky. Like I don't know, maybe not the first time, but like that show was a pioneer. It like 
Ren and Stimpy basically spawned like Rocco's Modern Life and like SpongeBob and shit. Yeah. Ren and Stimpy was Just that wacky off the wall shit. Fucking pretty amazing. Still is, if you ask me. Get off of the wall. Thank you. And what's the deal with well, like people are just dropping walruses out of their windows? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if that's a very specific reference, because I know the walrus is, has been in episodes, but I yeah. wonder if like dropping them out of a window is like yeah. a very specific reference. Well, it, it was um, Ken, the the uh, when when they were fire the episode with when they were trying to be firemen, and they ah oh, this boss is cheap as fuck. Stop uh, okay, eating so me. the walrus came from the fireman episode. Yeah, yeah. So save my save my, quick save. Save my cats! The, the the building was on fire, and there's this lady. She's like, they're like, go, jump on the jump on the trampoline. She's like, no, no, quick, save, save my cats, save my baby, save uh, save my horse, save my my elephant, save my walrus. <laughs> and she's just throwing stuff out yeah. the window. And it's just yeah. Nice. But, yeah, that boss, that boss is fucking cheap. You slap him a few times, and then, like, there's a little bit of delay between slapping and jumping. So you got to, like, slap him a couple of times and then jump. Otherwise, he eats you. And I just, I can't fucking avoid getting eaten, man. He's just going to keep fucking eating me. Oh, shit's going to piss me off. I like the poster. The poster says, vote you vote bum. Vote you bum. <laughs> All right, cheers, folks. I'm going to drink a little bit more beer. And then, since I didn't get any game requests cheers. from from the simulated chat last time, I'm I'm going to ask our good buddy, Wackeroni, what's a Super Nintendo game you'd oh, like shit. to see me play? Uh, um, oh, um, I'd like to see you do Boogerman. Booger man? Okay, I could do that. I'm not very Booger good at it. Booger man is a classic favorite. But... Yeah, it can, it can be difficult. But, I mean, like, you can't go wrong throwing boogers and loogies and flaming farts and burps and stuff. Like, it's, it's it was a good concept, I think. Yeah. I don't have the art for Booger Man, but I'll play it. I'll just take the art away. But like if you're a young if you're a young dude playing some old games, like that was the shit. Like you're gonna play a game with the dude throwing around boogers and farting on people and shit. Like, that's <laughs> that's what I want from a game. A pick and flick yes. adventure. And all its boogery goodness. I never owned this game, but I rented Flush. it. Flush. I rented it one time. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dark and stormy night at Professor Stinkbomb's this lab. Is San, San Francisco flush 2049. Where a machine was built to save the world from pollution by trans <laughs> existing it to dimension excrement. Eccentric millionaire Snotty Ragsdale has taken a job at the lab to investigate its <laughs> safety and find out exactly where the pollution is going. He has a bad feeling about this latest contraption. This night his suspicions will come true. That's like such a generic fucking... I mean, this would be like the B-movie of... Uh, the the, the B-movie of video games, basically. And, and I can see why you like it so much, Chris, just for that simple fact. It's like got that B-movie feel to it, right? Well, yeah, also, I mean, like the, the cartoon... Tooniness is a little bit Ren and Stimpy kind of. I think that's why I thought of it. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, like the animation style is, is silly, kind of like an Earthworm Jim or Ren and Stimpy or something. 
Yeah, I'm trying to drink more beer. I, I know, I, I know, I should play the game, but I'm I'm drinking like really fucking slow. I need to drink more beer. Drink the beer, flick the booger, stuff the cough drop. Booger! And and you can push the button to make him say booger. Booger! 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's nice little touches like that. Make a classic game. Digging through the garbage. Digging through Brad! some garbage. For those of you that don't know, the top left meter is how many boogers you are allowed to flick, how many boogers you have, how much snot is in your face. The top right is your burp, your gas meter. You can turn that into a fart meter if you if you get if you duck and push you, it. Well, actually, it's the same. You can you can use your farts if you press down. If you hold down, yeah. If you hold down and, and you push your fart booger button, you fart. If you hold the booger button and let it go, you belch. I think, isn't that how it goes? Oh, no, no. Oh, no, nope. I guess it's a different button. Oh, so the belch and the fart button are we... the same button. That's right. Yeah, yeah, it's all gas. That's all part of the gas meter. But if you find the magical chili oh, pepper, shit. you can use your gas to fly with flaming farts. Climb up. There we go. Slimy booger vines. Slimy booger vines. Digging through booger the trash. Booger vine, my wife. Digging through the trash. That you know, that kind of reminds me. This this part of the level reminds me of that that fucking green jello song. Walking through the plant today, scooping up what gets away. It's poo poo, poo poo. Something <laughs> smelling pretty ripe, coming from that sewer pipe. It's poo poo. <laughs> I've never heard that. I know the band, but I've never. I pretty much only remember the the little pig song from them. Yeah, well, that like that was uh, a song called "The Misadventures of Shit Man." Come on, come on, come on, nice. come on, shit man! Don't give me no, give me no, give me no, <laughs> give me no shit man! Come on, come on, come on, come on, shit! Yeah. Shit! Yeah. Shit! Welcome to the educational children's program. <laughs> we're going to teach you all about cough drops. Die, you motherfucker. And, uh, farts. Farts and boogers. Farts and, and boogers. Uh, and... This is a very high brow. Yes. We're high very, brow very sophisticated here. Very sophisticated. Is that the. What was that? Was that extra. If you get the can, yeah, the B can is like a can of beans. It increases oh, your uh, gas oh, power. I just died. Oh. And also, if if you don't get more capes, capes are your life. If your cape turns uh, yellow, that means you're about to die. And if it's like blinking, right, like that, you have full full cape power. Oh, okay, I got gotcha. you. Come on, start digging that trash. Think. See, the thing that always, like, the reason I always lost interest in this game is it's like... Taking that trash. They, they that got trash. all of these, like, little extra areas when you go down the toilet or whatever. And, like, I, I kind of, yeah. like, lost interest in this game when I was a kid because it's like, well, where the fuck am I supposed to go? Yeah. Yeah, it can be a little frustrating. Also, those little those little things on the ground that, that go... Those are those are like pus pockets, <laughs> and you need the pus pockets and the plungers to to uh, for the end, like a bonus thing. If you get all the pus pockets to keep the plungers together, you can build a ladder to get something at the end. Oh, I don't shit. remember, and like I a always, life or something. I always hated like sometimes there'd be like things behind the trees, like these little fucking snail things, and it's like, why? That's so cheap, fucking yeah. cheap, cheap fucking. Damage and deaths and games always fucking piss me off. The animation on these is so much fun because it's oh, so yeah. it's so it's so animated. Um, BM. <laughs> also, what it's you'll a, probably notice. It's BM on the fucking outhouse. <laughs> yeah. 
It could could it be Booger Man or could it be Bowel Movement? Yeah, I I think it's a little bit of both. Yeah. Think about that. One one of the things I find really interesting about this, like very unique, is the the password. Like if after you beat a level, they give you a password, but it's not like it's not a word. It's not made of letters. It's characters. It's villains from the game, and so it's animated. And you need to put in. I don't know. You you'll you'll see it if you get to the end. But like you have to put in the the specific series of bad guys instead of a password. Huh. Oh God damn it! Stop jumping. I want to go back down. It's pretty unique. Us postules. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, <laughs> postules. postules. Yep. Pustule Malone's. Well, it, it, it's it's spelled and pronounced pustules, but if you say it fast enough, it's it's because this because of the theme of this game, it's pustules. Like you got you got to get the the Chaos Sorry. Emerald in Sonic, in 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 Boogerman, <laughs> you got to get the yeah. pustules. They're jewels. You gotta get this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> jewels, jewels, and drools, and fucking boogers, and fucking luger, lugers. Oh, there wasn't even anything in that trash. Oh yeah. Heap. That's another thing. If you find the uh, if you find the milk bottle, then you can do loogies instead of flicking boogers, and yeah. your loogies go straight forward instead of like in an arc. <laughs> Oh, I didn't get it. Oh well, that's okay. Yeah, so that's, yeah, that's that thing. Perfect game for us drinking beer and belching and all that crazy stuff, right? <laughs> was that was 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 that you guys or or was that the game belching? Who knows? <laughs> yeah. That was that was not that was us. that that was that, was, that that wasn't Booger Man. That was me. Who farted in chat? One of you guys in chat. Who farted? I know it was one of you. It was you, wasn't it? I see you there. <laughs> you, you gassy bitch. Uh, I'm all out of gas. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> power of books. Uh, pustules. Uh, and see, that's the other thing. Pus like, Pustulately. I, I was, at the time, I was, like, so used to, like, playing games where you, like, platform really quickly and you go through the game and you want to get to the end quick. And this game kind of forces you to, like, try and find a way up onto the branches and I lost patience with that too. I was just like, fuck it, I want to go to the end of the level. Yeah. I know what you mean. I, I don't like games where they make you like go up into branches and shit. I, and that's a very and it's like Super Nintendo type of thing. so hard to hit some of those branches just right. Like, you're, you're above the branch but if you don't get to the right spot of the branch, you go through it. Yeah. You know? And it's just like, how the fuck do I get up there? How the fuck do I get up there? Yeah. I know what you mean, but There we go. Hawking him loose. Hey, there's a milk bottle. It's up there. <laughs> Lugs! <laughs> Lugs! And also as a like, kid... Sometimes it's just... actually not better to have the... Yeah. But also, as a kid, I would always just, like, spam all the buttons and then I'd run out of attacks. Because I just wanted to hear him fart and belt. Yeah. <laughs> Look at I, that I face! I would spam Look buttons also, and as a, as a young dude, I was not great at games. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Get it! Get it! Party night! <laughs> I don't know. This is an awesome game. It's an awesome concept. I just think that they 
didn't do it quite right, you know? I mean, uh, they, they should reward you more for doing the farts and the belches. Versus yeah. making you like he's got a, he's try got a and nasty find a cough. way up to get stuff and collect things and I don't know I don't know okay. <laughs> he's got a nasty a nasty cough in his fucking butthole. Oh, that's uh, it's a fun game but I lose interest like really quick. I, I'm I'm that gamer. I always like lose interest on stuff. Let's pick another game. <laughs> I, I, I did, I did too. All right. Well, hold on. Let me grab a couple more beers. All Give right. me just a moment. Go for it. I'll drink some beer on my end too. What do you think, guys? What do you want to see me play next? I know you can't tell me now, but tell me in the comments and then the next video that I do. Oh, just like screwing around and playing games, I'll play that. And cheers, folks. Drink, drink are you talking beers. to me or are you talking to me? I was talking to the, to the camera. Nice. I was, I was okay. talking cheers, to, the, yes. to the good folks there, wherever they're at, if they're at work or home, whatever. Uh, you fucking, you degenerate folks. <laughs> Yeah, beautiful cough drop butthole <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a game that I should play. Uh... Oh, you know what? I, I saw this fucking game. I'm not going to play a whole lot of it, but I want you guys to see the entrance of this game. It is fucking ridiculous. Where is it? God, I can't even remember the name of it now. I just checked it out a little bit ago, and I was like, dude, I never even heard of this game. And there's a reason for it, because the, the gameplay sucks. But just the, oh. the the way the game starts, though, is, is kind of funny. Oh, I know Was there how any I can find Super it. Nintendo Contra games? I assume they have had to yeah, have made at least no, one. Yeah, there, no, there was like, Contra 3 SNES Alien Contra. Wars, and that's an awesome game. But I want to show you this. I want to show you this. This is hilarious. It's called Rex Ronin Experimental Surgeon. What? Rex Ronin Experimental Surgeon for the Super Nintendo. <laughs> what? I'm, oh, uh, shit. Jake Westboro thought he had it all. A successful sales career with Blackburn Tobacco Company. A beautiful wife, a great car. Oh, shit. God damn it. I didn't want to skip that. Hold on. I hit start and it skipped it. I didn't mean to skip it. No! Reset. I said yes. <laughs> okay. Alright, so... So you're going to have, like, a tiny ship... You gotta like go into somebody's body and try to like fix shit, right? Well, um, kind of. They they take you into somebody's body with the tiny ship, but you're the doctor with this like weak ass fucking gun that like the aim is shitty. But this fucking opening part is hilarious. Jake started smoking when he was fifteen, but now he's dying from smoking the cigarettes he once sold. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. That's terrible, right? No, Jake, Jake's don't only do hope it. is Dr. Rex Ronan, a brilliant experimental surgeon. Dr. Ronan will shrink himself to near microscopic size and when you're encouraging Jake's them to smoke body to fight Jake's <laughs> diseases. Blackburn Tobacco Company is afraid that if Jake lives, he will tell the world how dangerous smoking is. They will do anything to stop Dr. Ronan. So they shrink down machines to go into Jake's body so that when Dr. Ronan goes in there, there's like like robots and stuff shooting at you. And it's just like, what the fuck, man? Whose body has this shit in it, man? Uh, entering the mouth, Tardabot deposits That's cover the weird. teeth. A thick white patch of Leukoplakia lines the throat. 
Jake's teeth are stained and decayed. Gums are puffy. Remove the tar and the leukoplakia deposits as quickly as possible. And yeah, the gameplay on this. Sucks. So it's kind of. Uh, I'm I'm gonna show so it's you like a little kind bit. of an anti smoke thing. It kind of yeah. So so. Weird. You get you can kick you can jump, and then there's like the weapon you start out with. Oh, get off me! And you see, so like the tobacco company put these robots in here to try and kill the doctor. And it's like just the aim on this is shit. How am I supposed to get all this plaque off? It's so fucking tedious. It's like, um... <laughs> get the fucking shit off of there! Ah! You get power-ups, tedious. and the power-ups are worse than this weapon. And it's just like, I want to go back to the fucking first weapon. It was better. And then it's like, how do you go back to that first weapon? I don't fucking know. And then you can, like, go down here like this. <laughs> I... Only at... And then you have to like shoot at these things, um, to to get like a true or false statement. And then, okay. Uh, well, I'm trying to shoot at it. I'm. I gotta get that close to it. So this is definitely. God, this is, this is an educational horrid. children's program. Okay, smoking cigarettes decreases we, your sense of we're... taste. And if it's true, you get it. If it's false. If you if you get it, if it's false, then, like, there's a bomb that blows up, and then you get hurt. So, <laughs> smoking cigarettes Wouldn't decreases it hurt the your sense of taste. Teeth? And then, if you get it, it says, oh, yeah, that statement was true. Um, there's one that says, smoking cigarettes makes your, breast, uh, makes your breath fresh. And I'm like, yeah, if you're smoking a menthol, it's going to be fresh and min minty. So I got it. And then they're like, no, that's false. And I'm like, <laughs> you're fucking lying, you bastards. This game, like, fucking sucks. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm going to show you the power-up. Let, let me see. This, okay, if you get, like, so many, oh, fuck. Why, why is there a thing in the guy's tooth shooting at me? That's not real life. <laughs> Everything else is very, very real life. Yeah, this game. This is when it's blows. fake. Blows, blows. But I thought I'd show you guys like a, a fucking crappy, obscure game that no one's ever heard of, and for good reason, because it sucks. Because it fucking sucks. This. Is the... You know, Super Mario Sunshine for the GameCube was based on uh, off of this game. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious! <laughs> I never thought of it that way before. Took all their inspiration. I never, I never thought of it that game. way before. Well, you so know, I was gonna, I was gonna say before, like people, people in the comments, guess how many teeth there are going to be on the screen? A normal <laughs> amount of teeth, a whole mouth worth of teeth, <laughs> or a butthole worth of teeth. Chewing tobacco and snuff cannot cause cancer of the mouth. That is true. That is true. Let me see. It should be true. <laughs> I don't know. I bet it's not. Smoking make... What? I didn't even get to read it. I got knocked into the damn thing. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm done. I'm fucking done with that game. <laughs> that was fun, though. <laughs> Okay, what do you say? You want to see me play one more? You think we should end it here? It's going, going on an hour and three minutes. I think we're good. I've actually yeah. got some stuff I gotta get to. I think. I honestly, think, I think I didn't drink I very much, drink folks, but that's okay. I have a little extra beer for later tonight. I'm gonna drink this one. I hang out with Chris for a little bit after the video. And then let him get to doing his thing. That's right. Thanks for checking out the fucking right. video. You guys, you, guys, you guys are great. Fucking fuck Google. You're a badass motherfucker. Everybody <laughs> keep cough drops right up your bunghole just in case of emergency. It makes the games a lot more interesting when you have cough drops up your butthole. It really does. <laughs> I, I'm it's not great. kidding. Why do this you think? Why do you think I showed you this game? I wouldn't have showed this game if we didn't have cough drops up our buttholes. But 
Um, I feel very fresh. Uh, yeah, it, it's a nice, it's a nice feeling, yeah. especially, especially it, if you have hemorrhoids, and your butthole's burning. Then, 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 what you want to do is you want to get some Carmex and put it on the hemorrhoids, and then put the cough drop up your butthole. <laughs> Carmax. <laughs> Funny. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes, well, do anyway, that. everybody do. You guys are awesome. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out. Hit that like button, Steve from the NSA. If if you're watching, I know you're gonna be watching. You gotta do the thing so that I know you're watching. And I'm not gonna say what that is, but Steve? If, if Steve from the NSA is here, I know. Love you, buddy, Steve. I know when he's Steve. here. Um, Steve, we know you'll do the right thing. Yeah, you, you'll let me know you were watching the video, and you know how. And like I said before, I'm I'm pretty much literally out of beer money. It's not a necessary thing, but if you'd like to support the channel, you like to watch my vids, you like to have fun, you want to see me drink more beers, hit that fucking thing for the Streamlabs in the description. Have yourselves a fucking Merry Christmas. Wait, is it Halloween? It's almost Halloween. Have a Merry Christmas and a New Year, folks. And everybody say happy birthday. To oh, up. don't even start that shit. It's not my birthday <laughs> until Halloween, you bastard. It's not my oh, birthday they're gonna until do it. Halloween. They're going to do it. <laughs> Yeah, they're they're gonna do it, and, and, and right. if they do it, I'm gonna delete the Thanks Fortnite for having me, account. Bro. I appreciate you. <laughs> All right, have a good night. No, folks. don't delete the comments. <laughs>